What's up guys, it's Matt here. So I like to announce when I'm gonna be buying something. Now I haven't physically bought it yet and if I am buying it at a certain price, you will know on Patreon. So if you want to follow me on Patreon, go over there and follow me there. Any level, I think you will figure it out. Um, but I usually alert everybody over there if I'm going to buy something. Um, but I'm definitely thinking about it. It's probably like an 80% chance, 70% chance that I'm going to be buying the position. And um, even before you watch this video, it may be to a point to where I already bought it. So anyways, AD or not ADA, um, Algorand is an absolutely fantastic position that offers you an APY on Coinbase, at least. I don't know where else it offers you APY, but I feel as though um, you know, you're gaining a lot on Coinbase, especially with the trust that I have for Coinbase. Maybe some other people don't, but I do. So guys, if you could, we're going to talk about Algorand. Uh, so hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more of these videos. Also, if you guys want to follow me on Rumble, it's a new platform that I'm um, now getting started on. So if you follow me over here, feel free to go and check over there. It'll be the first link in the description. Um, it's a pretty generic profile, so don't think that it's a, a scam. But if you have my link from my video, know that it's from me. So anyways, uh, let's talk about Algorand. Now, if you didn't know, I invested in Algorand a while back. Um, Algorand was at a low price. I was gaining a 5% or 4% APY, and it was a daily payout type of thing. Um, I was getting a lot of Algorand from it, and I was very, very happy with the amount of Algorand that I was getting. Now, right now, we're seeing a higher percentage. We're seeing a 5.75% APY on Algorand um, on Coinbase. But that's not the reason why I'm making this video. The reason why I'm making this video is because while things are decreasing so much, I find opportunity in the markets. That's usually what I do. And that's why I find success because I find the opportunities in the markets as things are hitting their lows, not opportunities as things are hitting their highs. Like I'm not looking for uh, basically anything when things are at their all time highs. It doesn't make sense to invest in anything where they're at their all time highs. Um, you have to find lower points and invest into it. Even if it's a little bit lower than the high point you believe it's going to run, it's a better situation than being at that high point. So while the rest of the market is is down and you see the main market down, um, you know, 2.7%, <clears throat> other things are down by, you know, 2%, 3%. You see Bitcoin and Ethereum down by those levels. You see XRP down by 5%. But you scroll down here, uh, down to 28th on the list, and you're going to see that Algorand's down more than the rest of them. Right? Algorand does see uh, gains as everything else may be dropping sometimes. Um, but right now, Algorand's down a lot more than the rest of them, which shows me that it does have, you know, a, a lot of opportunity there. You know, being down this low and seeing where the high is, you can see a decent size gain. So if you were investing $1,000, um, $100, you know, a, a 4X or 5X is definitely something that I'm looking forward to in the near future. Not saying it's going to be tomorrow or the next day or even next year, right? It could be something that happens whenever we do see that next bull run. But Algorand is also, like I said, known to run even when other things are decreasing or slightly making a move. We've seen Algorand up, um, you know, 20 plus percent at one point. Um, we've seen Algorand up 10 percent while everything else is up 1 percent or down 5 percent. It just depends on the day. But Algorand shows a ton of promise. So I do want to show you guys, um, you know, Algorand here and show you what it looks like. Currently, it's at 24 cents or almost 25 cents. We've seen it at a high today of 28 cents down here at a low of 24.3 cents. Uh, if we look at the market cap, it's at a $1.7 billion market cap. Uh, fully diluted market cap is a $2.4 billion market cap. Now, that's right on the range to where it's like you can have more dilution. You understand the max supply is $10 billion, um, but you have $7 billion that's actually out there. So 70 71% of the supply is released. So not much dilution can happen here. <clears throat> but um, even if this was at a $2.4 billion market cap, where it currently is right now, I believe it can go a lot higher than that and has gone a lot higher than that. So if we scroll down here and we go to markets, um, we're going to see that, or not markets, we go to overview and we go to market cap and go to all, 
we're going to see the market cap was at a $12 billion market cap before. Now, has it held there for a long time? No, but has it held there? It has found a way to hold above that $10 billion market caps level. So you know that it has strength above there. The fact that people are buying above there, that's a good sign. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> if you look at the price, you look at the price action, you're going to see um, that the price up here was at about a $2 price point. And yes, they did have some form of dilution here because you're going to see a about a $1.70 price point uh, decrease down to about $0.89, cents, increased back up to about $2.20. However, the market cap jumped a lot more from being at this level of $4 billion or $5 billion up to a level of $12 billion, You know that more was introduced uh, within that time frame. <clears throat> So that's something you still do want to look out for. But with the difference now, now you have majority of the supply that is out there and it is at a very, very low point when it comes to the price, you know, seeing it at um, a level here of what, 25 cents or so. Um, so uh, we've seen this previously at some of these levels of 25, 28. Um, we've seen that at a low of about 15 cents back in 2020 um, before increasing and getting up to that a dollar 70 mark so ultimately uh i like algorand i like where it's going i like the 5.75 percent apy within it um in a, in the next bull run i expect to see um something pretty big from it um getting back to the levels that it has been to you know uh 10 12 billion uh maybe not even pushing for that but accepting profit along the way is always the right idea so that you can be willing to accept it to run to some of these levels. Because if I'm invested at 24 cents, if I invest heavily at 24 cents, right, and I take my initial investment somewhere around a dollar, right, which would be a decent size market cap, it would be a $7 billion market cap. And at a $2 price point now, you would see a $14 billion market cap. So you know that it would be a uh, um, a higher market cap at that original price that it was at. So just know that. Um, so there is a bit of dilution that's going on there. And that's something you do want to look out for. But again, you're looking at 30% versus looking at um, increasing the supply by, you know, double the amount, you know, that's not what you want. So anyways, um, I'm holding uh, quite a bit, I do want to go over to Coinbase, bring over Coinbase here and just show you what i am holding i'm only holding about like 400 or 500 dollars of um algorand if i can get in here so <clears throat> let's go to assets you're gonna see algorand i'm holding 541 dollars which means i may buy more because currently i'm i'm looking at let's scroll down here i'm looking at uh 2170 algorand if i buy another 500 dollars, i would have another 2000 uh coins which would be good I would like to hold that many coins and capture that many coins um, because I am getting paid an APY um, throughout this. So I'm getting this reward on October 21st. I got a reward of 12.56 Algorand there. Um, so I'll continue to buy um, and continue to hold. You can see 96 days of typical hold time. So it definitely has um, the ability to um, hold its wealth and run. So I'm all for it. Um, I will let people know on Patreon if I am going to buy more Algorand, um, but I probably only will let them know. And then eventually I'll say something on YouTube or Twitter or something. But uh, yeah, if you guys want to follow me on uh, Twitter, go ahead and follow me on Twitter. 14,000 followers. So thank you guys who has followed me, have followed me. Um, also, if you want to follow me on Rumble, feel free to follow me there. Um, it's brand new. Again, I don't know what I'm doing over there, but I am uploading videos like it was YouTube. And it's fun to be able to upload videos to a different platform and have another, uh, you know, source uh, of income eventually. Not now, but another source of income eventually. So guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.